Is he one? I think the public is so enamored with rhinos because of their size and just their unusual physical characteristics. We have five Asian one-horned rhinos at the zoo. Asian one-horned rhinos are classified as vulnerable, and there are only several thousand left in the wild. This is a species that's native to northern India and Nepal. And we have a new one-horned rhino female coming to the zoo shortly. I'm on my way to meet the transporter who brought our one-horned rhino in last night from a facility in central Ohio called the Wilds. Rhinos are a really large animal, and so it's really impossible for a single zoo to have enough animals to assure gene diversity. And so as a result, zoos work cooperatively exchanging animals to ensure that we have a healthy population. Our big concern is for her to be upset and nervous, uh, so we just hope that all goes well. I came along with Priya today to be a source of comfort for her. She knows me from her daily life at the wilds, so uh, having that comfort of something familiar helps calm her down. Come on, right now. All right, now. All right, we're going to open the door. Come on, right now. Priya, back up. Here she goes. Here she goes. Excellent. Come on. Back up. Back up. Come on. Excellent. Welcome. Make yourself at home. She's taking her time, calmly exploring everything, very responsive to people. It's her a little bit longer to get comfortable with areas, but once she does, she's very trusting of the people that work with her every day. For now, we'll just go ahead and leave her with both stalls and let her settle in. Over the next month, we have to quarantine Priya at the facility where our other rhinos are housed because of her size, but we'll do our best to keep her completely separate. Our keepers will be able to work closely with her and begin to form a bond with her so that she trusts them the way she currently trusts Cody. It took a while to get her out of the crate, but better late than never. Better calm than running around. Better. All right, great. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Yeah. Priya seems to be adjusting to everything that we're trying with her. So it's nice that she's settling in. And your ears scratched? We do tactile training, which is scratching them, touching them. You like your toes? It's almost soothing for them. How's the belly? It helps to build that relationship with them. Going to the shower. Oh, what a good girl. Priya's done really well in the month that she's been here and just completed quarantine, so we can begin to expand her environment. And so the first thing we'll do is give access to our smaller holding yard. I would put a bunch of hay, some browse, some of the uh, fruits and vegetables she likes, and let's just see what she does. Okay. In spite of their size, they can be nervous animals. And so we just let them get comfortable first to the smaller yard, and then to the larger yard, and then out on exhibit. I think that's a good treat. We're not missing anything? I don't think so. Except think... for the actual rhino. That went That did not take her long. Quicker than I expected. Hey, pretty girl. Just went back in the building. We always give an animal the opportunity to go back to a place where she feels more secure. I didn't actually think she'd come back in this quick. And she was clearly a little nervous out there. Yeah, I mean, we'll give her some time. Do her own thing on her own terms. Hey, pretty girl. Hi. Like all rhinos, they don't have great eyesight. So hearing sounds and smells that it's not familiar with could spook a rhino. Didn't come in quite as relaxed that time. I mean, the good thing is she keeps going and coming, which is nice. There you go. Not so bad. Why are you guys staring at me? <laughs> you just like, go away and leave me alone? 
Overall, I think today was a very positive initial introduction to the yard. Then when she's comfortable in that smaller yard, we'll give her access to our much larger yard that we also use for breeding. Good job, kid. Wild Asia is a 45-acre exhibit that visitors only see from a monorail tram. So from an animal's perspective, there's not the hustle and bustle of the other exhibits where visitors are constantly coming and going and there's a lot of noise. But one of the things that potentially could startle new animals is the sudden presence of, of this monorail. We're going to put Priya in the large outdoor holding yard, and she'll see a monorail passing by for the first time. Priya's been in the large yard a number of times without the monorail running. And right now, she is relatively comfortable in that yard. <laughs> Does that feel good? And so the last step is to have her in the yard meeting the monorail. OK, get ready, Priya. Here it comes, Priya, get ready. Whoa, that's a nice little run. Well, that I wouldn't have anticipated. <laughs> Priya just saw her first monorail and actually approached it to keep an eye on it. And that's something that many species will actually do with something that threatens them is move towards it so they can keep an eye on it. And she was clearly a little bit nervous, but made no attempt to run back into the building, which is where she's most secure. So for a first introduction, it couldn't have gone much better. There's another train coming around now. Well, there it is. It's like, what is that thing? She seems noticeably more relaxed. Yeah, I thought she did well. OK. Well, yeah, that was a solid session. Good girl, Priya. She saw a number of monorails. She responded very appropriately and spent the vast majority of her time out in that outdoor yard. We'll just keep building on that and having her spend more time in the yard is a last step before giving her access to the exhibit.